Good morning, this is Jonathan Kurtz with the National Weather Service here in Norman, Oklahoma with a weather briefing regarding severe weather chances today through Thursday morning. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. If you watched yesterday's briefing, not much has changed forecast-wise. Severe weather remains likely over the next few days. We will cover some safety topics in this briefing. Chances exist from tonight through early Thursday. Large hail and damaging winds remain the primary hazards. Tornadoes are possible, but as we said yesterday and the fact remains today, they're really not the primary threat right now. The large hail and the damaging winds is what we really want to stress right now. Okay, so what can you do now? We're getting a little bit closer now to severe weather. Severe weather chances do exist tonight. There's still time, though, to go ahead and get a plan together and get a safety kit put together. So the most important thing you can do right now is to have a plan. As we said yesterday, don't be scared, but be prepared. And we're going to make that the motto of this spring. Don't fear severe weather. Just be prepared for it. That's the best thing you can possibly do. I have went ahead and put the link to the safety information from our webpage in the, in the uh, video information box below and they'll give you information on how you can keep yourself, your family, your business, how you can keep everyone safe, and how you can make yourself weather, weather aware and weather ready. The other thing is we stressed yesterday is know the terms. We're still in the forecast phase. It's early this morning. We're still in the forecast phase. We're, we're only hours out now, but there's no watches issued or anything like that. We're still dealing with the forecast. So remember, the, know the terms. Forecast, large scale. We're dealing with widespread area. We're, we're kind of trying to nail down what exactly what might happen. A watch will come out hours, maybe even an hour before severe weather starts to occur. Watch is issued when we, we have a really good idea of where the area of severe weather is going to occur. A warning, you have minutes. When a warning is issued, that is not the time for you to be going, where's my shoes? The warning, you should already be prepared. You should already be ready. So when that warning is issued for where you're at, you, you know exactly where you need to go, you have everything planned out, and that's why we really stress that you need to have a severe weather plan. For when that warning occurs, you're not asking questions, you're just acting. Okay, I just wanted to throw this graphic in the briefing today. This is a graphic that's already on our webpage. It's a severe weather safety checklist. It kind of gives an, a brief overview of what you can find on the webpage linked in the video information box below. So take a trip over to our webpage, take a look at this graphic, read it, Go to the other safety webpage uh, or go to the safety page on our, on our website and, and make sure that you have a plan of action uh, for your family or for yourself or for your business today so that you're ready for tonight and, if you're, and so that you're ready for tomorrow afternoon as well. Okay, so what can you expect for tonight? Well, we expect storms to initialize sometime late this afternoon and they're going to continue on through the late evening hours. The most pressing hazard right now with these storms is going to be tennis ball to baseball sized hail and wind gust up to 70 miles an hour. You can see the, the most severe storms are going to occur probably just in that Texoma region, kind of just south of Lawton, Lawton area, down to Wichita Falls, most of, most of western North Texas over to Ardmore. So kind of those the southern I-44 corridor, the southern portion of I-35 there in the Arbuckles. So if you're traveling from Oklahoma City to Fort Dallas, Fort Worth, or, or back, or you're going from Oklahoma City to Wichita Falls, uh, it's probably best that you either delay travel until later on this week, uh, I would postpone travel. If I was having to travel to Dallas today, I would hopefully I could postpone that trip to a later time frame. Um, so if, if you, you really don't want to be in your car in severe weather, we really want to stress that. Make sure you shelter in place. Don't be in your car. So severe storms, though, are, are going to be possible later on this evening, um, basically on a cold front in the Texoma region tonight. We'll have scattered storms elsewhere across the area uh, as the warm front lifts north across the region. Okay, right now, Wednesday is still the still looking like the most significant day for severe weather, at least for Oklahoma. A dry line will surge off the West Texas Plains and push as far as central Oklahoma by the mid to late afternoon hours. And storms will develop along this boundary uh, into the into the afternoon, late afternoon and evening. Baseball-sized hail and wind gusts of the 70 miles per hour are the primary hazards. T tornado chances are, are, are tornadoes remain possible, but really overall. The most pressing issue is going to be large damaging hail and strong wind gust. If you have to travel uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'd really suggest delaying that trip. Uh, don't want to see anyone out in their cars late in the afternoon into the evening hours, especially along I-44, I-35, uh, and the I-40 corridor. Just stay weather aware. You, don't, you do not want to be inside your car when severe weather hits. and uh, You do not want to be inside your car when baseball-sized hail is coming down. It is not a pleasant experience. So... 
make sure you have a plan. That's why we stress having a severe weather plan. Make sure you're ready for tomorrow. No need to be scared. Just make sure that you're weather aware and that you have a plan and that you know what you're going to do when a warning is issued. That's the best thing we can possibly tell you to do. All right, as we get into Thursday morning, storms will linger overnight Wednesday into early Thursday. So, uh, and really a lot of uh, severe chances will taper off, uh, you know, through the evening, through the overnight into early Thursday. Uh, any remaining storms will be well east of the I-35 corridor there. Uh, and we'll probably, some of them will, you know, the potential for severe weather will still remain. Maybe some large hail, you know, the size of golf balls, still have a chance of some damaging winds, but really the thunderstorm chances really kind of dwindle quickly as we get through uh, Thursday morning. So stuff will be pushing off to the east out of the, out of the region. And um, just make sure that you, you stay aware through the morning hours, especially for the morning commute. But I, I'm, I think most people, it'll be pretty dry and you might have some light rain around. But for the most part, any, any significant uh, thunderstorms will be pushed well east of the I-35 corridor by, uh, through the Thursday morning hours. All right, so just to go ahead and uh, summarize here once again, uh, severe weather is likely, but don't be scared. Just be prepared. Uh, we'll put a link to this. As I said, the link to the safety information is in the video description below. Uh, severe storm chances exist uh, from tonight, mainly down in the Texoma region, and we'll continue on through early Thursday morning. Large hail and damaging winds are the primary hazards with any of these storms over the next few days. Okay, that concludes the weather briefing from the National Weather Service here in Norman. We really appreciate you logging on and watching our video briefings. Remember, for the most up-to-date forecast, watch, and warning information, always go to our webpage at weather.gov forward slash Norman. We'd really appreciate it, and we encourage you to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thanks again, and have a great Monday and a great rest of your week.